I said, that's the problem with black folks, man. We don't know how to fucking vote. We don't know how to elect fucking people. See, that's like taking a black person to a goddamn fucking racetrack to bet on horses and a black person not knowing how to fucking bet on what horse to fucking bet on. And see, that black person is mad at the white motherfucker standing next to him because he knows how to bet on the fucking horse to do what? To be successful, to be fucked, to win. That's how black folks are when it comes to fucking vote. We always make the wrong decision putting the wrong motherfucker in the house, man, because we feel like they mess inside with us. That's the fucking game. That's the fucking game. And we need to get out of that motherfucking goddamn way of thinking, man. We need to fucking come together and fucking got like these look like these gays have done, the LGBT community. Look what the fuck they've done, man, over the last past 20 fucking years. They didn't have a voice at all doing nothing. Now, all of a sudden now, they started becoming politically correct. They wanted fucking rights. They wanted to be able to get married. And if you notice something, look what the LGBT community turned the fuck around. See, a lot of people don't understand this. 20, 30 fucking years ago, there was no motherfucking hope for HIV or AIDS, right? The minute you started seeing the LGTB community taking a stand on motherfucking being hurt, all of a sudden now, you got all of this fucking medicine now for the LGBT community that they only could take once a fucking year, once every six months, and now they undetected all of a sudden. So they they one step closer to solving this motherfucking AIDS problem. But you want to know why? They started getting into the motherfucking politics. They started investing in politicians. They started paying fucking money politicians. The LGBT community started putting their own kind in position of power in Congress and in the White House. Now, all of a sudden, now, all of these HIV medications is for them to help do what? Live longer, healthy fucking lives. You see how the game is played? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You see how the fucking game is played? It's basically, hey, money talks, bullshit fucking walks. That's what it is. You got all these HIV medications now out here now that caters to you living longer, healthy lives. Even to the point where if you're taking them, you become undetectable, which means you can't even pass it to your partner now. That's true. That What that shit called med or something? Med, some shit like that. You know? it's, I don't, it's, it's called something, but yeah, you got all of this shit now. So now if you got a partner that's HIV infected, but he takes this medicine, which helps him reach a level of being undetectable, and then all of a sudden now he meets a partner that, that's not HIV positive. That means now they can have sex how they want to have it and he don't have to worry about passing that shit down to his partner. All because the LGBT community took a stand when Obama got his ass in fucking office. They put his ass in office. Now all of a sudden now, here it is, laws are being written now that cater to the LGBT community. Now, all of a sudden, now, oh, we like this group of people. Why? Because they spending money. They're empowering us. And now we're going to make sure we empower them. See, we want you motherfuckers to live a little bit more longer. So we, even though we've been holding on to this medication for the last past 20, 30 years, now we're going to start giving it to y'all because why? Y'all doing what the fuck we want, us, we want you to do. And that's catered to our cause. Catered to our fucking agenda. Make sure now that you groom your children that you may adopt or you may have that, 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 that that's coming into homosexuality to follow the same what? The same pattern. To keep us in these fucking high power positions. And blacks haven't figured out why the fuck you got all of these minorities, you got the LGBT community surpassing us, and here it is, we still like, because why? We ain't coming together to say, hey, this is who, who we need to vote for, this is why we need to vote for this person. This is why we need to stand by this person so the shit that we need to get done in our community could get fucking done. I wouldn't be surprised if they passed the law 10 years from now legalizing black folks to sell fucking dope legally in their own community. But you got to put the right motherfucker in the White House to do that. But see, what happens is, man, this lets you know that money is the root of all evil. Because when Obama got in office, even though his religion and his principles and his first term was against homosexuals getting married and pretty much having the same rights as a non-homosexual, when Obama was in fear of his second term collapsing, 
he reached out to the gay community. And the gay community said, hey, we powerful now. And we have enough to get you reelected for another four years. But what you going to do for us? They came up with a plan. They came up with an agenda. And Obama passed the laws that no president before him would have even considered or even touched. Because, see, it's all about that American dollar. Now, they may tell you that it's all about equality, certain rights, this, that, and the third. But see how we overlook God's authority and we automatically take man's authority to replace God's? So basically, what the government is saying is that this almighty dollar bill, this is our God right here. The God that's in the Bible, until he comes here, this is the God that we want to deal with and work with to get the things that we need to get done. So how much is it going to cost for us to have a vote, for us to have a say-so? So once again, that lets you know that the founding principles of this country, which they have been telling the American people for over 500 years, is based off of the Holy Bible, it lets you know that that's false. It lets you know that that's in inaccurate. The God that they worship and have been worshiping is that almighty dollar. That's just that. And whoever has it, that's who I'm playing with. That's who I'm giving what they want. Doesn't matter what you follow at that time. It doesn't matter what your lifestyle is. If you come in with that cash and the power to back me up, which puts me in a position of power, then we can do business. Because you got to remember, America is not a country. It's a corporation. It's a business. And it has always been a business. And black folks need to understand that. They need to stop sitting up here catering to this oppression, this 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 ongoing legacy of sex, slavery. Fuck all that shit. Let's come together, put our money together, get a few people to go down there that has the word of mouth to talk to whoever it is that we need to talk to to start getting things changed in our goddamn environment, to start putting ourselves on top of the totem pole instead of always remaining at the goddamn bottom. Because that's what it's all about in America, man. It's all about that beast. It's all about that dollar. See, you got to keep feeding that beast. See, the beast don't want food. The beast want money. 